boys and girls. Woo! Today's Saturday. Uh, I can't see. <laughs> I normally check my watch. It's December something. I heard that thing. On my way down to, I'm going to call it the hippie market. Let's just call it what it is. Kirby. Rats and Raff, you guys know, hosts her markets from time to time uh, out on the patio of the Dirty Shame. But this time, she has taken her wares to a completely different location. Uh, some similar vendors are going to be there, but a different location. And yeah, a bunch of us said, hey, let's go support what you're doing. And uh, so heading up there. Beautiful freaking day out. It's like 79 degrees. Partly cloudy with very small chance of rain. Not hot and shitty. Not very humid. This weather report has been brought to you by WMBR. 1976.5. On your FM dial. I still gotta make the graphic for that. I keep saying it, but I just never do it. My mom just came over for lunch and we all went to this place called Vallarta's, which is uh, the closest the closest thing to Mexican food that I've had at a, at a restaurant in Tampa. I've heard there's some better ones out there, but I haven't been yet. Moving from Arizona, which I hated Arizona, by the way, but moving from Arizona, uh, I was spoiled out there with the Mexican food. So good, so good. I've had Southern California Mexican food. I've had Texas Mexican food, Tex-Mex, whatever. I've had New Mexico Mexican food, but there's something about Arizona Mexican food. In Yuma, Arizona specifically, because you got a little mix of Baja California, a little mix of La Frontera or Sonora. That was good stuff. And uh, while we were sitting there, I was kind of scrolling through social media, as one does. And I saw that there's also like a little rat rod slash hot rod slash motorcycle festival going on at this place called Riveters. Happens to have the ever elusive band that I love this band. He's, he's called Jeff Bitolo. Uh, well, the band's it's Jeff Bitolo and the, uh, I don't know, Duck Bill, Platypus. I don't know what they are, but it's a rockabilly band. And I really enjoy it. They do covers. So they got some original, but they do mostly covers. And uh, oh, I always miss them. They play all over Florida, but I always miss them. And today they're playing at this place, Riveters. I really hope we can get over there because I missed them last week because Kyle threw a belt. We stuck around <laughs> to help him out. Uh, last time they were close by, I think I was out of town. I don't know, always something. So hopefully we can get over there, see some hot rods, see some motorcycles, listen to some good rockabilly music, which I'm a big fan of. So I am impressed at the ball the motorcycle has. Uh, like I always say, man, my Triumph was a hot rod. That thing was shit and get. My last 103, my road glide, would not shit and get. That was my biggest complaint about the road glide. This one, on the other hand, does. And I'm not very well versed in the stage one, stage two, stage three nomenclature. And admittedly, I'm also not really a fan of, oh, I got a stage two kit. Just say what you got, man. I know this has a, a tuner. It's got a Screaming Eagle tuner, which I know there are mixed thoughts on, but it came with it. You know, it's got the Screaming Eagle air intake. It's got Vance and Himes tapered slash cut uh, slip ons. I, mean, I keep meaning to take the baffles out of, but I haven't done it yet. Um, I don't know if they put cams in, which I, I think, I think is stage two, but I know it's got a lot more balls than my 103 road. She will, she'll go. She'll, she'll get up there and do it, man. I mean, it's not going to blow the doors off a, a, a whole lot of stuff, but it's noticeable, and I appreciate it. Also trying out another uh, another app, another motorcycle app today. I've been using, I, I might even do a review of these. I've been using an app called Relive most of the year, um, and I, I post my rides. It'll do like a 3D map, uh, GPS track. It'll tell your highest speed. It'll... You, know, you can upload pictures to it and uh, it serves a purpose but if you make the video through their app you kind of have to use their music inside of it and i'm just not really a fan of their selection so last week i tried rever which is advertised all over the place uh, but they also do a 3d map like follow along on your route um, but it's very plain like i'm not really a fan of it uh, so i canceled that trial before it got to the subscription now I'm using one called Detect, D-E-T-E-C-H-T. -E so we're going to try that one out. I want to see how I like it. This one is the most expensive one, though. This is like, if I decide to, to pull the trigger and say, yes, we're doing this, this one's like 60 bucks a year. 
So I've got to remember, I got a week trial. I got to remember to cancel this trial if I don't like it today. Uh, a lot of people don't give a shit about these apps. A lot of people do. Uh, I, I like the novelty. I like the idea that I can track my ride. I can make a little video, store pictures, whatever. Just have fun with it. Uh, this one supposedly has add some social media aspect to it that I'm, I'm not familiar with, but uh, a bunch of the Tampa crew is already supposed to be up here, and I'm going to meet them if they're still there. Hopefully they are. And uh, yeah, we'll see you down the road. It's a way different setting than when we have them at the Dirty Shanty. I say we, like I'm involved. I'm not involved at all. This is much better. It's more spread out. There's more shade. And anytime this guy's around, there's constant shade being thrown. All my motorcycle friends are here on their various Harley Davidsons. It's another one of those Harley Davidson days. Then over there, you got more Harley Davidsons, and then Jenna breaking up the vibe with her Yamaha. Is that an MT? YT? FT? 07? Nine. It's 900. Well, then I misquoted that last week because I said seven something. Completely wrong. I don't. More power. Like Mopar. Like you're. Like if Dodge made a motorcycle, it would be the Yamaha because it's Mopar. No. What do we have here? There we go. It's a. It's now a tradition. How many birds can I get flipped? Oh. She had. You have. You got different stuff this time. More stickers. Yeah, I have some more stickers. I have a new Dolly Christmas card. I have my Freak on a Leash stickers. Hell yeah. Uh, which, if you're a corn fan, I should get this tattooed. You can like get, right here. You can put it all. I don't know your wife or her bike or. Oh no, she won't let me. I won't put it on. Not on the new bike. No stickers on it. Let's see what else we got. Some other homemade wares. Looks like. Some ceramics. Looks like some vintage clothes that we found. Maybe some prints. We had these in the 80s. We bought them. That's what I'm saying. As soon as you feel something. You bought them from McDonald's. Yeah. Like if you back then they had like uh, if not just for kids, but you it, like every week they have a different promotion, so you could buy these from McDonald's. The McDonald's Garfield collection. They're like. Yeah, you'll collect. Yes. Like yes, that. my parents had those. So I think like this is a jelly jar. This is 1952, so this is 70 years old. <laughs> wow. You never know what you're going to find when you come out. And I think a lot of the vintage finds are my favorite. I like the arts, the craft stuff, but the vintage finds are like, holy shit, blast from the past. All right, boys, let's do it. Well, I need to go that way, but I don't like this angle. So <laughs> we're going to go this way and figure it out. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. To quote any cheesy line ever. Plus, I've never been down the street, so we can say now that we've been down this street. Now, that was a fun time. I spent a total of uh, 15 bucks there on beers and uh, some swag from Kirby. I like supporting my friends, selling their wares. I'm still playing with camera angles on this, uh, on this camera that's facing my face. Uh, I might want something more eye level and uh, it keeps this clamp from hitting my dashboard like it happened yesterday. There were a bunch of us that showed up today to this, which was nice to see. Uh, but people just started splitting off. You know, Kyle went home and he wants to meet up later. Alex left with his family. They went to get Hibachi. Just everybody's kind of splitting up and and even if they had ideas of linking back up in a little bit, uh, I think I, I think I kind of get the allure of living back here now. I'm assuming that's part of the Hillsborough River. Could be totally wrong. Very pretty back here. One of the older neighborhoods in Tampa. Obviously, this is not a road you can like open her up on or anything, but lots of trees, pretty houses, older houses. It's actually uh, pretty picturesque back here. Nebraska. Okay, now I get the idea. What's interesting about Tampa, and I'm sure a lot of cities are the same way. So this Seminole Heights area um, can be kind of run down. And you can see, you know, people living in the motels. Um, it's definitely on the lower end of the socioeconomic class system. Not saying that's a bad thing, not saying it's a good thing. It just kind of is what it is. But then you break off you know, into the back roads and you're into cozy looking neighborhoods. It's quite different than what you're going to find 
out here on Nebraska. Nebraska and Florida avenues in particular, not the most desirable places to be in Tampa. I'll tell you that right now, especially between like where we were and uh, up by me. I don't want to ramble. I'm going to get on down the road. Whatever we do, me and the old lady or me and the friends, whatever, we'll see you then. Doing something a little bit different today. Welcome back to the channel, by the way. We went naked on the Road King. I'll show you a little bit more when we get off the bike up here. I took off the windshield. I took off the passenger backrest. I took off the luggage rack. I wanted to make it as clean as possible today. Uh, I actually took off the rider backrest too, something that I actually wish I would have left on now that I'm going down the road. Uh, when I test rode the Road King at Burt's, I mentioned during that test ride that I felt like the bars were too far back and I wanted to roll them forward. I have not felt like that on this motorcycle until right now. Now that I don't have the backrest to kind of cushion me or brace me, these bars feel the same way. <laughs> uh, we have decided uh, to go ahead and put apes on this thing. I'm, I'm just still wondering if I'm going to do 12 inch or 14 inch. I'm going to go traditional rounded. I'm not going to go beat hooks. Uh, I'm looking at some bars out there. I'm looking at some cables. Uh, obviously, you have to get cables. It's always like the not fun part. But the good news is, uh, when I get the cables, I am going to go braided. I don't want uh, I don't want the black lines. Even though the black lines are on here now, braided just looks a lot better when you put new bars on. Am I right? You guys know I'm right, right? Oh, you just feel like you're more one with the environment. You know what I mean? I mean, the bad thing is I have to put my face shield down, which I don't really like doing because these showy helmets, like I've mentioned several times, they get hot, buddy. I get so hot inside these helmets. But hey, that's what vents are for. But while I'm recording, I have to keep the bottom, uh, there we go, the bottom vent closed. Otherwise, there's this constant <laughs> whistling from the wind coming in that vent. So what are we doing? Today, we are heading down to a spot called Tiger Temple Tattoo. Apparently, this is uh, one of uh, Shay and Josh's tattoo artists that they go to. Tattooist? It's a tattooist? Tattoo artist? You tell me. What is it? Uh, anyways, the grand opening today is down on Gandy, which is one of the bridges that connects Tampa to St. Pete. They're having a grand opening event from 1 to 5. I really wish I was getting a tattoo today. It's been years since I had one. Not in the cards today, boys and girls. Okay, this wind is gonna really fuck with me. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to use this GoPro while it's uh, uh, while it's naked up here. Yeah, I think uh, trying to be a little bit more frugal. Um, you know, we we still I, I bought all those parts for the wipe spike from uh, Blue Collar Bobbers. I think you guys are familiar with them. Some of you have commented uh, that you've used them in the past. I still haven't quite paid all that off. Christmas is coming up. I just paid for plane tickets for my wife and my grandson to go out to Arizona. I've got, uh, for those who don't know, I am an actual grandfather. My three-year-old that you sometimes see in my videos is my uh, biological grandson. My wife and I have adopted him, so he's also our son, he's my grandson's son. We have a granddaughter in Arizona uh, with our oldest son, and they're having another baby this week. And it's just not in the cards for all of us to fly out there and, and they have a place to stay and all that. So just the wife and the grandson are going to go out to see them, which totally fine. Actually, I think what I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and cut this front camera off. Maybe stick it in my bags. Otherwise, the wind's just going to keep knocking it around. I don't want that. We'll just carry on with this one. Now, the only sail that I have on my on the front of my bike now is my... Uh, phone mount which hopefully we're gonna see how good this quad lock works i didn't i never had the quad lock on my triumph only on the gold wing and now this so i've never had the wind hitting it like full blast so we're gonna see hopefully it sticks that feels secure <laughs> wouldn't that be something oh let me get in front of this i'm pretty sure that's the textbook company yeah baby oh yeah oh gosh i love this motorcycle I like the fact. So one of the things I didn't like about the Road Glide was that, well, and the Goldwing, is that what you see is what you get. There's there's not really anything that you can do to make it 
what's the word, convertible like this one? I'm, here I am trying to look at the camera that's not here. <laughs> I like the fact that this morning, uh, I'd never taken off any of these things before. I like the fact that it took me two minutes, three minutes tops to take off all these things, both backrest, the windshield, etc. Like there's nothing to it. It's fantastic. So at least this way I get to feel like, I don't know, there's just something classic about this feel, this look, I love it. Let's get down to the tattoo shop. Hopefully we're running into some friends. I'm here with all my American friends. Fucking Oklahoma. Fucking East Town. This is the second day in a row we've seen Jenna. She didn't even remember her yesterday. That's how forgettable this face is. Are you from Canada? Yes. Are you really? No, you're not. You're lying to me right now. It's because you, su it's cause you support Odin with so much. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. There are no bald eagles flying while singing Freebird in Canada, my friend. All the bald eagles came from Canada, sir. Yeah, because they were escaping, because they're like, oh, America, baby. It's home of the brave and free and shit. Shotguns and fireworks and guns. That's right. That's and right. Harley Davidsons, who are 100% made in America with zero parts manufactured anywhere else. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, yes. Are you my little friend? Yes. The little friend. <laughs> I bet she's never not, heard. Not that little friend. Oh, not my dwarven hand cannon. No. <laughs> Kyle is a man of service. Look at him. He's here for his friends and nothing else. Inside, this is the grand opening of Tiger Temple Tattoo. I was trying to get some uh, video footage of it earlier, but there were a lot of people in here, and I didn't want to film anybody without them telling me it was okay. I like a lot of this old school stuff, man. I should get something like this. Something old. Something to pick off the wall. Tattooed freaks. All right, I promise I'll show you the clean look. I actually like this a whole lot. Not the balloon. For riding around town, hell yeah, man. No backrest, no luggage rack. I do like having the windshield on a lot of the time, especially if I'm gonna have the GoPro on. Because as you saw, the GoPro claw did not like the absence of wind deflection. Fucking clean, baby. All right, that's gonna do it for uh, Tiger Temple tattoos. The good news about this ride, we're going to head over to the Shane, which still is a staple around the area. The good news is we're going to take a very pretty route down there. We're going to hit Bayshore. I feel funny not having my uh, front camera since I use it all the time, like literally all the time. But uh, uh, I don't want the wind to fuck with it. There we go. Two Road King brothers side by side. Hell yeah, the Eagles and Freebird sings from the heavens. Uh, Kyle's thinking about selling that Road King. Well, it's not really his to sell, it's dad's, but his dad's thinking about selling it. And uh, depending on the price, I might buy it for the old lady. Need some cleanup. It's got, you don't call it rust. It's patina, right? That's the, uh, uh, that's the hip word for rust. When you don't want to make it sound like it's just decrepit, you just call it patina and everything's fine. There's been a running issue with the transmission. It doesn't sound like he's gotten that fixed. Not a good selling point. <laughs> uh, I don't know anything about Harley Davidson. But you know what? I never knew anything about Gold Wings either until I actually started working on one. Just like anything out there in the world right now, there is a tutorial somewhere, and I can find it. Like I've said, I graduated with my PhD from YouTube University. So if there's anything I can do is follow instructions. I might not know how to troubleshoot shit without the internet, but give me instructions and I'll take care of it. Bayshore Boulevard. We have seen this before on my channel. You've certainly seen it on Josh's channel uh, probably years ago, but uh, it's really pretty. Riding down this road, looking at all these houses that I'll never be able to afford, over the bay, into the city. I like it, man. I mean... You go up by me, it's a lot more country. When you're when you're down this way, right down on Bayshore, you kind of feel more like you're in some ritzy area of Florida, which is the truth. You are. Look at these houses. Look at these houses. These aren't subletted condos and rooms for rent. No, these are expensive ass houses. Tampa is the right place for me. I love it down here. I love it for the country side of things. Up just a little bit north of me. I love it for the beaches that aren't far away. I love it for views like these. It's got a happening downtown scene. 
There's a lot of money here that I'll never touch, but it's here. Try Jacksonville first. I actually like Jacksonville quite a bit. You can watch some of my old videos where I talk about how much I like Jacksonville. Even though it's way more ghetto and way more country than Tampa, I still like it a lot. I tried Tallahassee for a few months. Nope. And it's only country and politics in Tallahassee. Not for me. I like country stuff. I've been raised in the country. I know how to do country things. Maybe that's why I'm not afraid to try my hand at things that I haven't done before. Because we had to do that shit all the time coming up. All right, y'all, that's going to wrap this one up. I appreciate you coming along with this one, as with all videos. Uh, great weekend with friends. This is just a couple days out of our lives down here. I always like making these kind of videos. I like going back and watching them myself because it just kind of reminds me of, hey, this is what we did this weekend. And uh, I think some of you guys can appreciate that. So, yeah, thanks for coming along. And until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>